Wonderland. All right. Time to get into the matches with JC against DJ Vest. And we're starting off with a first to seven. That's kind of new, actually. Unless I missed something. But all right, just a lot of set play going on right now up against Nemesis, which is kind of the matchup you definitely need to play against them. And then we have a combo going on right now. Right now, DJ Vest is just trying to keep defense and trying to keep his footing against Magneto. Switches off to Hagar. It's a, it's a matchup, but if he can land a hit, he can get a good good amount of damage done on him. But speaking of landing hits, it looks like JC does not intend to have... Ooh, got him with the grab, and now he's just going to go for an air combo. He's just going to gonna try finishing him off. Pretty sure level 3 can do it, but he drops the combo, and then just DJ Vest gets a free combo, possibly a free kill. Oh no, he dropped it, rolled out of it. Did it again? That was actually kind of smart, but he really couldn't he couldn't get out of there in time just to kill Doom or anything, so it just got Now Dorm is in, dear God. There's a lot. <laughs> See. Oh, dang, sorry about that guys. We got There we go, guys. Alright, DJ Best is now down two characters. Can his Hagar make this 1v3? Because this team is very much so against Hagar. With this team being against Hagar, it's kind of just like... He pretty much can't even get in. He's going to have to X-Factor soon, though, so he doesn't take a lot of chip damage just like that. Oh, that could have been a birthday, but it wasn't, but that's fine. All right, what's he going to do? Oh, he should have just command grabbed right there. Got the grab on him. That should be it. Yep. First match goes to JC. There we go, young legend. Back one to here, here, guys. Yeah, we got some, uh, got some cousins, some family members here for tonight. So I'm gonna be on the mic here now, young legend. Let you know, dude. All right, that sounds good. For sure, man. But shout to Aaron here for tonight, man. Obviously, you know, no spoilers for Deadpool Wolverine, man. I was saying, you know. <laughs> yeah, are you planning on going to see the movie? Yeah, are you planning, planning on going to see the movie, Young Legend? Honestly, no idea. Hmm. Might end up seeing it, though. Yeah, that's for sure, man. I do highly recommend watching the movie, man. That was great, dude. Yeah, so far. No spoilers, I'll have Vest ban you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking like I'm just picking the Nemi here right now. All that trade, though. Is he sure he wants to pick the Nemi though, especially in this matchup? Yeah, he got it. Sentinel, Sentinel's not the greatest, but even in these matchups, Nemes Nemesis isn't really the greatest either. Yeah, that was a good catch. Oh no, Super Def. Use the meter, best. What are you doing? He goes like three games down. Some tells me he's just gonna bring out the scroll. Oh, I could be wrong. Then again, I think he's just gonna build up the meter for three bars and then just get a kill, or you can drop the combo. Alright, got a little setup going. Yeah, that kind of just broke the momentum for him. Yeah, that's about it. Even if he touched Dr. Doom, he knew to switch out of Dorn because one touch makes the fireball go away. Alright, so do we believe in Nemi? I don't know what, what it's looking like right now is just that JC is just... Staying back, which is the best way to play this matchup, and just like that, he got the grab. Either g just a good little reset opportunity on them, it's this good meter game with Dr. Doom coming in. Oh, got oh. Pfft. Well, that works too. Just not, just not a lot of. Just it's a lot of weird trades, especially with Doom missiles after Larry ends up hitting. Either side can get either side can confirm off a of said trade and it's such a weird concept. 
but he just got the confirm, just barely with the jab to S. Gravity Squeeze question. Is he gonna be optimal and kill him here? Ah. Okay, he just wanted to set up, that makes sense. So we got the setup down, just locking down Hagar. And just Flame Carp is just gonna keep him out even more, even if he does land pipe, it's still gonna. Oh, there it is. Burn a Cinder. It's like that. That is three to zero. Is Vest gonna bring out the. Yes, he is. Okay. Gotta bring out the Anchor Scroll. Scroll can at least help a little bit with this. Right now, it's just more of the same game, just zoning him out, keeping him away. Ooh, and got him with the overhead. Didn't react him. Didn't react that quickly. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, but he dropped it. All right, after dropping the combo, he gets to pick up on Magneto. Can't kill meterless, so he's just gonna go ahead and do body press for the kill. Ooh, try locking him down. He just barely missed. JC drops the little confirm that he had, but now he's just... Oh, no. Yeah, he... Oh, wait. Right into the flame carpet. I'm pretty sure he wanted sits and nobody just couldn't... <gasps> that was actually smart, but JC actually X-factored that. But that is a resource that JC no longer has against Anchor Scroll, which is one thing. And against Anchor Scroll, you wouldn't really want that issue that much, especially since you can kind of... Because that Inferno Super, you can't advance guard it at all. So you're kind of just a sitting duck when he does that. But let's see how he handles it. Because one touch can kill his Anchor Scroll right here. Oh, there it is. Meteor Smash again. Inferno for the Dead Doom. Now, what are we going to do against Dormammu? Gotta see a mix. Ooh, that makes it just like that. Vest takes a round. One to three. Now we just... Oh, immediate grab. Pretty sure he's going to go into Doom right here. Oh, no, he's not actually. Going to go for hyper grab loops. Did drop him, though. Wow, he stopped blocking for a second, and then he just gets hit with the ground bounce. Can't use the pipe that often now, though, because he already used his ground bounce. Now he's... And Magneto's dead. Dark... Dang! Dark Dimension immediately. Didn't even want to risk anything with Agar. It's not even dead, though. Yeah, I don't know about doing Dark Dimension right there. Could have did some certain setups. Call him in. There you go. I don't know about doing level 3 right there that early. Could have just been me, though. But he could have saved a lot of meter from doing so. Oh, caught the grab again. And now that's just going to be an easy confirm for Dormammu. This actually can't kill, and he dropped. What we are seeing a lot of drops tonight. It's spent like from both sides, just a lot of drop combos back to kills. Yeah, don't even waste a meter. You won't be able to switch into him. But anchor scroll. Let's see what happens. JC does have X Factor this time, so he can have a little bit more leverage. Oh my gosh! And that just catches him every time. And just like that, that's a dead doom. Get him a bit early. See if he can keep scroll out. Oh, there's a grab. Level three. No, we don't even have to level three. Just get the kill. All right, that's two to three. 
DJ Vest starting to make a comeback. The adjustment for his anchor scroll instead of using Nemesis is kind of helping him out. In this matchup, Nemesis can't really get around at all. Barely gets around at all in the first place, but that's besides the point. The adjustment does help, and just like that, anchor scroll can just violate his entire team. I believe the person with the most health on this team is Doramama. And that's a good, like, 900,000 to 1 million, I believe. So one little X Factor combo with Scroll. Oh, speaking of Scroll, switched them back out. X Factor him. Oh wait, he can't DHC. Oh yes, he can. Never mind. Okay, Chaotic Flame took longer, to, took a little bit shorter time than I thought. Sits in the force. All right. Oh, he got clipped by every blast in the book, and just like that, that leaves three to three going on the top. Finally, snapper scroll, Dad. I definitely agree. But anyways, going into it again, Hagar was switched out just so Sitano can come back in. And right now it's just feeling like, oh, Magnetic Shockwave, did it go through? Yes, it did, and he just hard drives through it. Just did that to avoid the damage on the shockwave, but he still does get chipped out. Not, I just thought this vest is not advanced guarding, but I'm guessing he's doing this so he can get a little closer. Oh yeah, Hagar is gone. He didn't snap for scroll though, so let's see what happens. Wait, did I say three to three? I meant, I meant two to four. Uh, there it is. Gonna try to start it. X Factor. Oh, he dropped it. Oh no, that was a that was a bad drop, and he's just gonna X Factor kill him right here. You can't do Dark Dimension. But that's it, any. Oh no. Oh my gosh, he just went for it. Oh my gosh, he just held Mary Meter smashed, and he did that too, and that got him killed. Five to two. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Dad. But anyways, back into it, and he immediately gets the overhead. I'm gonna start the kills early. And just like that, killing Alf Hagar. Right now, Vest has to play the safe game a little bit more. Ooh, block the overhead. Oh my gosh, that just just went for it. Knew he had the armor that could take advantage, but he needs to stop blocking low on the ground like that while Magneto's in the air. That's what gets him caught up in those mix-ups. Wait, does that hit Doom? Oh, he got hit for his troubles. Try to lock him down, make sure he can't go anywhere. But JC is good at moving away from him. Oh, there it is. Oh no, but he got hit. Hit out of the super and just like that. Gravity squeeze, just gonna kill off the scroll. Do not even let him have a chance to live. No setups will even fathom the amount of torture he will go through to X Factor 3 scroll. He is just getting caught with so many grabs. He's just flying too freely. Flame carpet to X-Factor, and then he can just kill here. Burn the cinder, and just like that, that is six to two. All right, can we make the adjustment? It's still possible to come back. Not impossible. Nothing's impossible in Marvel at all. Got Iron Fist making it to top six at EVO and he's freaking bottom five. All right. 
did a good adjustment by killing off, killing off Magneto early is a really good idea. Especially in hindsight, because Magneto was the one applying a lot of the pressure to him. Dormammu and Doom are just good at keeping them out, which does get rid of some of their health. As far as pressure goes, Magneto has the speed and the entire set to just torture them. Especially when getting up close, but they still got to be aware of Hagar. And speaking of Hagar, chipped out. And just like that, Sitzenel goes down next. Oh, wait, he didn't die? I'm pretty sure he's just, yeah, he's just going to super jump over that. Oh my gosh, that was an interaction. Oh, he's got to be careful. No, why would you do that? It tracks you. Oh, my gosh. Best has to be a little bit careful here. Oh, he didn't get punished. Oh, there it is. He's got to, no, he dropped the combo. There it is. You just got to kill now. Keep your X factor. Oh my gosh, the mix! D no, no, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. You still have an opportunity. You still have an opportunity. You can make it. No, and just like that, that's it. JC taking it over Vest 7-2. Good games to both players.